Hands down, the number one thing that I get asked about every single day is kids' toys. So if you feel overwhelmed by them, you're not alone. Coming up next, I'm excited to share with you a really simple trick of how you can simplify all of your kids' toys in 20 minutes or less. It doesn't have to take a long time. I'll also share the three toys that continually make the cut at our house and some really unexpected benefits once we simplified our toys. That's all coming up next. Well, hi, I'm Dawn. If we haven't met before, I'm married to Tom. We have four kids, ages three through eight, and we also sell residential real estate. Did you know that we can actually help you buy or sell a house no matter where in the country you live? And we wanna make sure that you have a really great experience doing so. We'll put our contact information down below. But we also have a lot of fun sharing about our family's minimalist lifestyle, both here on our YouTube channel and at theminimalmom.com. So be sure to subscribe so that we can keep in touch. Well, kids' toys, it's what I get asked about the most. And so if you feel stressed out by them, you're definitely not alone. And looking back, we used to have a toy room, right? And it was a disaster zone. It was a place where all the toys got stored, where they got dumped. And honestly, if I feel overwhelmed by it, it's no wonder that my kids felt overwhelmed by it too. They didn't play in it well, and they certainly couldn't keep it clean. And so one day I just said, enough was enough. We cleared out all the toys, significantly simplified them, and the result was awesome. So let's get started simplifying your toys. Okay, so step one is to decide what toys are we gonna keep? So I'm gonna show you the toys that consistently make the cut at our house and how many of them that we keep. Well, welcome to our family room. This is where we keep all of our toys and I like it because it's right off of the kitchen and so I can kind of keep an eye on what the kids are doing. And like I said, we have four kids. They're ages three, five, six, and eight. The younger two are boys and the older two are girls. And so when I was deciding what toys to keep, I just tried to pick toys that were versatile, durable, and that I knew they already liked playing with. So here's the toys that made the cut for us. So for the boys, here's what we decided to keep. They have two bins of Legos, two bins of blocks, and then they have this one bin, uh, just some trucks and tractors. So that's all of their toys. And then for the girls, we have play food. We got rid of the plastic dollhouse, but this is the furniture and the dolls that go with it. They set it up, they play with it. They never really use the dollhouse that much anyways, so now they just keep the stuff and they still play with it just as much. And then this one has baby dolls and accessories. So after simplifying, the toys for all four of our kids fit in here. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now that we know which toys we're gonna keep, the next step is to box everything else up. So what you need to do is gather some boxes. You'll also probably want a garbage bag because who knows what you'll find. And then you might decide to set some boxes aside for donations. The less you have to store, the better. Okay, so now here's the secret to being able to get through all of your toys in 20 minutes or less. You're gonna take a toy and instead of saying, oh, should we keep it? Do they play with it? Do they not? No, that's where we failed in the past and it takes way too long to contemplate each toy. And so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna look at the toy and we're gonna say, is this in one of our keep categories? Is it a block? Is it a Lego? Is it a small car? Nope, so it's going into the boxes. So hold up each toy, decide if it's in a keep category and if it's not, it goes into the box. We're not gonna think about each toy. But here's the thing about the boxes. They're just going into storage. So if you actually accidentally put your child's favorite toy into one of the boxes, don't worry about it. They're just gonna be in storage and you can pull it back out later. Okay, so we have our bins that we're gonna put our keep toys in and we have our boxes that we're gonna put everything else in. So here we're gonna go, I'm gonna time it and see exactly how long it takes to get all these toys boxed up. Okay, so let's take a quick time out for a frequently asked question. What if those toys were gifts and I have a friend or a relative that when they come to our house, they're gonna do a scan to see if we still have it. Well, can I tell you something? All of those toys that my boys are voluntarily boxing up, those were all gifts. I'm a minimalist, I don't buy my kids toys. Truly, they were all gifts. And so if you do have a difficult relative, here's what I tell them. We're rotating toys now. We're trying out this new thing where we rotate toys. They don't have to know that. What I'm really doing is rotating them out of our house. They don't have to know that. To me, 
Having a clean and organized house is just so much better than keeping all of my friends and family happy because honestly, if they get frustrated about that, there probably isn't anything I can do to keep them happy. So overall this went really quickly. It really didn't take long at all to get all the toys boxed up. So we're gonna get them closed up and labeled and packed away. What are you doing? Oh, you're happy? <laughs> yes. Okay, so now that all the toys are boxed up, we're gonna put those boxes into storage. Garage, basement, an extra room where you have some space. And that way, if you really do need to pull something back out, it's still there. But honestly, once we've put stuff into storage, we've never once pulled anything back out. You know the saying, out of sight, out of mind. And that's definitely been our experience. Then in four to six weeks, you can go ahead and donate or sell anything that's left. So there was a couple benefits that I expected when we simplified our toys. I was really hopeful that our house would stay cleaner and I wouldn't feel like there was toys everywhere now. And also that the kids would be able to pick up everything on their own. And that definitely happened. What I didn't necessarily expect was that all four of them play so much better together now. Also, they rarely ask to watch TV. Our TV stays off most of the time. And they play outside way more willingly and for a lot longer. I feel like they're able to think of things outside to do now on their own and they don't have to ask me and we certainly don't have to buy any toys for outside. They find random things outside to play with. But here was the biggest thing I noticed. So this past winter we went to Florida on our family vacation and it's a three and a half hour flight from Minnesota down to Orlando. And so I let each kid pick one thing to bring on the plane. And so our five-year-old, he took one matchbox car and he entertained himself with that the whole entire flight he played with it he played with the things in the seat back in front of him we had a few snacks and besides getting up one time to go to the bathroom he was completely content and occupied no iPads no games on my phone they were able to keep themselves busy so I've definitely noticed they're a lot more creative whenever we go out to restaurants we're in the car for a long time or like on the airplane they're able to think of things on their own to occupy themselves and that is the best benefit of all well, I truly hope that you found something useful. And once I got into it, I realized that it was way too much for one video. So look for links below for some other videos about whether or not you should include your kids when you're purging toys, three ways to get your kids super excited about boxing up their own toys. It really works, honestly. How to get your relatives to stop bringing more toys into your house, and what to do about buyer's remorse. If you've just spent a lot of money on toys that now are gonna just get put into boxes, we've all been there. So there's a video about that as well and more. You can look for those in the description down below and be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when new videos are released and certainly if you have any questions please leave them below a thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us and you can always read more at theminimalmom.com